when we are looking at a list of items in glide and you click any of those you are looking at that specific row right so in this case if we go to our data we are looking in this case at this specific row now we can add edit or delete components showing up here now what I want to do now this is a details page right because I can add components remember that on lists you cannot add components you're just looking at the whole list of items but then when you click any of these then you can add components delete components and edit or delete the whole row we have covered the edit and delete row in another lesson so let's go over and how to change the layout, which will be add, edit, and delete. So in this case, we have, for example, the title. The title is pointing the name, the details, and then the image. Right now, we are not pointing the image anywhere, so let's do that. So we click the three dots, we go over to our image column, and that's how it will show up, right? So Glide, depending on what you tell Glide that column is for, Glide will show it. So when you tell Glide that the image column has an image, then it will show an image. But then when you tell Glide, if we do this the other way around, if for image we point Glide to the name column, then, I mean, we already did point it to the right way. Uh, it will not know what to do, right? Because the name column doesn't have a value that can be formatted as an image. So for details, let's change it to category. So we can do this. We can also, like in this case, we have a rich text for the address. We can also add, let's say, a map because we have the address. So we can bring over a map component. And this map component, we have to point it to the address column. So as soon as we point it to the address column, then it will show the map the right way. You can always edit the zoom to zoom in or zoom out. Uh, here we have a phone that's already formatted as a phone. We have a text, we have a category. So this is how you add components. In your template, we already set up these views, these details views, right? So let's say that you don't want to show something that's going on here. So it is as easy as going over to your right and then clicking the X for the items, for the components that you don't want. Now again, deleting the component doesn't mean that you are deleting the row, that you are deleting the information in your spreadsheet. It only hides from this view, this component. So if I don't want to show the address, I will just click the X. If I don't want to show the map, I will just click the X. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm losing that data in my spreadsheet. It only means that in this view, I'm not bringing those values over to this screen, right? So that's how you add and delete components to your screen.